What's up, guys? I'm Anthony Espadasa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You know, I <laughs> I showed up here today expecting to shoot my guitar videos that my Instagram followers have been looking forward to. Uh, I have a Linkin Park guitar video coming out, a Deftones video coming out, um, and pretty much planning on doing some more movie movie reviews and such. You know, I try to make my channel a little different uh, for metalheads and movie fans or movie fans who are metalheads, you know what I mean? Just things like that. Anyways... And uh, a little while ago, uh, a little earlier today, I was at home chilling, packing my stuff up, getting ready to head to the studio. And uh, uh, one of those like news topics uh, or notifications that you get from Twitter just popped on my phone. I was like, oh, let me see what's going on. It said, uh, now trending Collider. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? I don't remember Collider trending. And, and to, to just let you guys know, I've been a big fan of Collider um for about 10 years now about i want to say about 10 years maybe nine years um <clears throat> i don't know if you guys remember but there was that movie called paradise lost that was going to come out it was about the fall of satan bradley cooper was attached to play lucifer super super really cool idea and collider was covering it a lot and when i went to go google uh this is like i think 2009 2010 went to go google paradise lost to get some more information on it uh it kept sending me to collider so i subscribed to the page and then when i found out that one of my favorite movie talk podcast video casts um you know amc movie talk was getting moved over to collider i was super 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 excited like i was ecstatic i john john campia and crew coming out with uh with the boys christian harloff mark ellis john schnepp and they're just moving over to my favorite like movie news site where i would read all my movie news articles and um super excited and that relationship has gone sour in the last couple of years you know with john campia leaving first and then with you know god bless rest in peace uh legendary john schnepp uh the, the king of uh, sweaties you know and then with mark ellis leaving it's like, what is going on? The re yeah, recently Christian Harloff left, and it's like, what is going on with Collider? And there it was. There it was. Collider is ceasing production on the, the basically their main shows, which is Collider Movie Talk, Collider Heroes, Collider Jedi Council. Like, all the stuff that I watch from the show, they're canceling. And just going on Twitter today going on Facebook, reading the comments, there is a huge backlash. It seems like Mark Fernandez, who is like the CEO of Collider, which, I mean, I don't fucking know uh, if a CEO would make a decision like this, but the decision that, that was made to cancel these shows, for, I mean, I mean, there, there's, there's a couple aspects, and I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to put my thoughts out there. But a couple aspects to this situation is, okay, so one, you have beloved podcasts and video casts alike that are being canceled being canceled for for what for deep fakes for fucking uh comic book shopping which i love i love comic book shopping i love comic book shopping and I'm, I'm a comic collector but i just started watching comic book shopping again and i've only seen the numbers just start to like come back around in, in recent videos so i'm like really like comic book shopping and then the deep fake videos is like, why? Why that? I mean, it's funny, but it's not movie news. You know what I mean? It's just stupid. It's a fucking trend. It's just something people are putting out right now in videos. It, it's a fad. It's going to fade. It's just like a meme, just like anything. It's going to pass. <clears throat> so so what the fuck? And then uh, as I got to the studio, I said, you know, I need to collect my thoughts. Uh, thinking about making a video on this, but I need to kind of gather some more information. As soon as I get here, go to John Campia's Twitter. No comment. No comment from John Campia. Uh, the other Collider crew and staff, they're all, uh, you know, just talking about their time at Collider and this and that. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. And then I go to Roxy Stryer's YouTube channel. Now, Roxy Stryer is the co-host of Collider Live and uh, took over for Christian, Christian Harloff uh, after he left a, a while back. And um, I'm not the biggest fan of Roxy Stryer. You know, I, I haven't watched her too much. You know what I mean? I've watched her in a supporting form, not really in a lead form, like how she is with Collider Live now. But her live YouTube video that she did, a live broadcast, of her talking about her thoughts on the whole situation, wow, Mark Fernandez did not give these people any fucking time to react. Like, according to Roxy, the staff found out literally hours before 
the fans found out. Like, how the fuck does that happen? How does that happen? If this was a normal job, which I, I know it's not, it's entertainment and it's YouTube, but still, if this was a normal job, they would have known a couple months in advance to be able to, you know, get um get some kind of like jo jo their jobs lined up, some kind of employment lined up. You know what I mean? Uh, be able to save some money. These people found out this morning before I found out. That is fucking sad. That's terrible leadership. Terrible. What kind of vision is fucking cokehead Mark Fernandez having in his fucking, you know, DMT fucking hallucinations where he thinks any of this is a good idea? One, okay, if you want to do it, do it right. Go go around it right. Do it properly. Now, I don't know the details. I'm just going by what I heard. Roxy Stryer, who is the host of Collider Life, and even she said, I, I don't want to go into too many details. I'm just going to talk about my experience on this situation at the moment. And I'm just like, fuck, that is a fucked up experience. Guys, I'm going to tell you this. I've been following Collider since the AMC days. I've stuck by Collider throughout the years. And a lot of people will say, yeah, okay, I gave up after Campy left. I'm a huge fan of Campy's channel. I watch it more than I do Collider's. How how did Mark Fernandez let the talent go? Like, these were the heads. These were the people that brought views. And how did he let them go? Guys, I, I was just getting started uh, on saying it a couple minutes ago, but I have been a huge, huge AMC fan. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, Movie Talk fan going on i want to say four or five years now been following collider uh, longer than that love 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 the og crew uh i'm a big fan of koi jandro and uh the new crew that's on there roca i love roca i've been watching him a long time too and um i had to unsubscribe the, i know some people are going to say oh no there's a way how you could support them you got to keep supporting them and keep showing them that you want views no no, if a movie studio pulls some shit like this, they say, hey, you know what? We're going to keep making shitty fucking movies. Guess how the audience communicates with the studio? Not through bitching and complaining on, on comments, which in this case might be a little different. But what do they do? They just don't go see the movie. That's what happened with Terminator Dark Fate. They just didn't get, go see the movie. So the studio's not going to make more movies of that franchise. If you want to tell Mark Fernandez and the heads of Collider that you want these people back, the best thing that we can do as fans is to comment, let them know. And I'm not I'm not saying we're going to heckle them. I'm not saying go out and call, call Mark Fernandez a fucking cokehead. I can call Mark Fernandez a cokehead because fuck him. But I'm just saying, like, as a collective community, uh, comment and let them know, hey, we want these shows back. We want these people back. And we're not going to keep watching this ridiculously desperate cry out for viewership with deep fakes and fucking you know just like beeline shows that are just spinoffs of the actual shows themselves C comic book shopping is a spinoff of heroes like what the fuck unsubscribe Un unsubscribe from collider i'm letting you guys know if, if this bothers you unsubscribe comment on a couple of the videos go on twitter just let them know you want your shows back. I want Collider Movie Talk back. I want Collider Heroes back. I watched Collider Heroes since the very first episode with John Schnepp, John Campia, Robert Meyer Burnett. Very first Collider Heroes. That's how long I've been watching this sh uh, these shows. Anyways, I'm going to get back to doing what I do, which is play guitar and talk about movies and stuff. I have a podcast. If any of you guys are feeling, um, I'm not trying to use this moment. Or maybe I am. <laughs> I'm not trying to use this moment uh, to kind of uh, shine a light on my podcast, but um, we're going to be going more into this on the next episode of my podcast, Rock and Comics. Um, the description to that YouTube channel, description to um, to the uh, the Spotify page, and all that, and Apple, Apple iTunes, and all that. That's all going to be located below, so you guys can go subscribe to that. I'm going to be getting way, way more into discussing the situation on that with my bro Alberto, and um, if you guys want to hear more of that. And s please support support the crew, su support these people. They're good people. They're very entertaining. Um, obviously, John Campion does not need a shout out from me. I love John. John, I love you. But everyone else who's been involved as of recently, go subscribe to their channels. Figure out how a uh, way how you could support them because these people 
they they've done a great service to the fan community and they definitely deserve uh some love all right guys i'm gonna go uh record my guitar videos right now and uh try and uh harass mark fernandez a little bit <laughs> just playing don't do that uh but yeah i'm definitely going to uh tweet out to him and let him know hey dude as a fan i just want my shows back all right all right that's the best thing you guys can do Ooh, there. that's why i don't get paid the big bucks um that's the best way that you guys can let these people know hey we want our shows back so just comment let them know and unsubscribe from collider i'll see you guys later hope you guys have a blessed day peace